Hi, hi everyone. Today I am going to explain how to test any API calls using a postman with the authorization as a Salesforce. Okay, so so we have some prerequisites here. So you should have login <coughs> and install and login with the postman connection okay. and then you should have the salesforce username and password which is a uh, salesforce team can provide uh, in your team uh, which is integration user and password and parallelly so the development team has to be share the secret id and some <coughs> some key key points uh, which is available in a connected app okay what is a connected app first of all connected app is like it's a it's a uh, one of the door uh, communicating between the salesforce and postman it's here uh, my example is postman that's why i'm saying communicating between salesforce and postman it's like a door connected app means it's like a door okay uh, if you are using any third party applications like mule software or something so then it will be the communication between those two the connected app will be uh, act as a door okay so so if if you if you want to enter into the one of the room first of all you have to be you should have the authorized to enter from the door right so similarly the connected app will have some keys and then only you can enter into salesforce and you can do the some activity okay so okay let me explain the connected app it's already created uh, the connected app so the connected app uh, the scope of the connected app means what are the if you enter into the uh, open the door and enter into the salesforce what access should be available so that you have to configure here okay for now i have taken a full access okay and then callback url callback url usually for testing purpose I have given the same org uh, domain here but some places it will be the different value okay and then uh, that's all uh, generate in the uh, token i have already generated so if you ask to your development team they can provide our admin can provide the connected callback url and key okay so now we jump to the postman so in a postman first of all you have to create a one connection one collection okay just here the plus symbol so first you have to come to the collections and then click the plus symbol so once you click the plus symbol the new connection will be created if you want to change the name you can change it once you created a new connection just add your <coughs> add your request okay so add your request then you will be see the in here you can give the url and in here you can select the which method you want get post patch put patch delete head options okay so for now i'll give an example with the get a letter I'll, I'll explain what what all of this method mostly we'll use only get post that's a very rare patch okay so get and post and patch other things will not use mostly uh, as part of the salesforce okay oh uh, now then now we have a setup uh, we have a uh, we have created a new collection and we need request so i have already uh, tested with the connection so i'll just explain what what are the things has has to be configured here so i'm using here the get method so what is the intention of this get request is so there is a url provided by the uh, development team so this url is the endpoint url okay 
so what it is do is it will fetch the account information which is relevant to this id okay so so before going to the endpoint we need actually access token so how the access token will be come okay so so for access token what you have to do you know so i'll just explain here first so there is a tab called here authentication in that authentication type has to select at 2.0 okay so here at 2.0 has to be selected so once you selected at 2.0 it will the token in this token place you have to select the access token so this will be generated by the system you should not give anything here this will be generated by the system and then header prefix it should be the barrier barrier same keyword you have to use and then access token name the token name the access underscore token okay then grant type it should be the implicate okay and then callback url callback url what you have given in a connected app the same callback url has to be given otherwise it will not work okay and then authentication url let's say if you are using the test environment it should be the test http test.salesforce.com slash server slash what to dot slash authorize okay this is the auth url and then client id so here we are not using the client secret we are using only the client id do you have to give the client id the client id will be provided by your development team that is generating from the connected app okay so it will be generated so here here okay so and then after that you have to set the client authentication so here we will have the two op two options uh, send a basic auth header so what will happen if you select this if you select this automatically in a header there will be one uh, header will be created with the basic authentication with by passing this token whatever it's generating by the token okay and then that's all uh, you have to come here just say get new access token you have to click this nick get new access token button so once you click it will ask the username and password just give the username and password once you have given the username password just say allow okay just say allow then it will come this message authentication completed successfully and then you have it will become landed into this page so you just say use this token so once you say the use this token automatically here where the access token will be generated and then if you come into the header there is a hidden headers this author authorization barrier this will be generate and add into the header automatically okay so now now our testing part so now we have authorized so this this is the endpoint url which is the salesforce team is provided so what we are doing here is we are fetching the we are fetching the account information relevant to this case sorry this account okay i'm just clicking ahead send here see the account is generated account is fetched the account information is fetched so most of the values is null because of uh, actually the uh, the record values is not there so the record name is acc1032 let's go to the salesforce acc1032 is there right okay now i want to bring the other object i'll just go and open this and i'll copy this case okay so what is the subject here testing demo 2 from 
postman okay i will fetch this case so just we have to change here case and we have to pass the url just hit so the case number is this one the subject of the case is this one so this way you can get the you can test the salesforce so most of the people will be struggle here itself while authentic how to authenticate so the intention of the video is authentication okay after that it will be the normal how we can use any other any other uh, endpoints that may be a git or oh, git method or post method url or anything okay so thank you thank you for watching this video